This Leo New Moon coming in on August 16th. She is a shocker. She is a big one. She is not coming to play. This is a dramatic new beginning happening in all of our lives. You do not want to miss the beginning of this video because I am taking you to church for this Leo New Moon, okay? I am bringing it, all right? So sit back, relax, and let's talk about this crazy AF Leo New Moon coming in on August 16th. My gods and goddesses on the internet, welcome back to another video and welcome to this new moon in Leo happening on August 16th, 2023. Let's talk all about it. You are not going to want to miss the beginning of this video, so stick around before you go jumping to your sign because the sign portion is going to be but a tiny part of this whole entire new moon. So let's go. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, we are going to jump right into this new moon because she is not coming to play. This is a big and bold new moon, a big and bold new beginning happening in all of our lives. Okay. Like this is a new era that we are stepping into for this new moon. It is such a big deal. And I'm going to talk about why. Okay. So as always starting off with what the fuck is a new moon? So a new moon is when the sun and the moon align in the sky in the same sign. Basically when this happens, the moon is kind of drowned out by the sun light so the moon disappears in the sky making space so when there is space something can be created in that space which is why new moons typically deal with new beginnings seeds being planted new things starting new chapters in our lives new and fresh energy coming in so usually new moons are a little bit more subtle we don't feel them right off the bat because there's this space being created the moon disappears therefore there's kind of this underlying subtle feel that like something is growing something is coming but we can't see what quite yet and over the next several weeks we will begin to see what this is so new moons are typically not as intense or dramatic as like a full moon or an eclipse let's say but they still nonetheless are new chapters forming in our lives and are very very important for us to know what new beginnings are coming and what they're going to have to do with and what sign the new moon is in usually shows us some about what this new moon is going to deal with for us in our lives so this new moon in particular in leo is happening in the sign of leo and leo is a sign okay leo is a sign leo as a sign is a fixed fire sign ruled by the sun therefore it is intense it is fiery it is intense it's fixed fire concentrated fire in one place, right? And it's ruled by the sun, which literally everything in this universe revolves around the sun and lives off of the sun. Without the sun, we would not be, right? And so we depend on the sun so, so, so much. And so because of that, because the sun is kind of almost like this godly, majestic, important, superior body in the sky, Leo can sometimes adapt a lot of those qualities. So Leo as a sign really deals with pride and authority and loyalty. It also deals with like being, you know, regal and uh, listening to your heart, your heart space, like what is aligned with you, your courage, your sense of power and authority in the world, right? Your confidence, it can deal with embodiment, can deal with passion, self-esteem and drive. So these are some of the, the main qualities that we see coming up with the sign of Leo ruled by the sun as a fixed fire sign. It's really about where we find that sense of power and authority, that sense of inner power, that sense of spark, that sense of vitality and energy within ourselves, in our lives, where we see that we are special, that we are not just like everyone else and everything else. Like, yes, we are all connected, but we also have a sense of specialness. You know, we have a sense of being special, of being somewhat, you know, different in our own ways because there's no one on this planet that is quite like us. So this new moon and this current energy right now, these current transit transits right now with the Venus retrograde, this new moon in Leo, the sun traveling through the sign of Leo, we have been learning how to get realigned with that which makes us special, realigned with the things that we truly want and desire. Leo is so much about the self. It is about the ego. It is about evolving as the self right? It is about following your desires because when you follow your desires, you are following a sense of dharma, a sense of purpose, right? This is about seeing your bigger potential and seeing where you've been settling and playing small in your life or signing up for things that you don't want to do, like, like exerting your energy and wasting your energy on things that don't light you up inside, right? Like where have you been settling? Where have you been settling for things that you don't actually desire, that you don't actually want? Where have you lost that sense of self or that sense of purpose in others or and just you know living a more robotic life you know like a life without meaning a life without potential a life without purpose you know like we find that sense of purpose and meaning by following our heart's desires and the things that light us up because a life well lived 
is a life where we have fulfilled our desires, right? And so that is so, so much what this Leo energy is about, what all of these Leo transits are about. And so a lot of people right around this time can really find that they're having a readjustment or a realignment, like things that you thought you wanted that you didn't actually want, you know, could be falling away or it could be kind of drifting or dissipating in some way, like things that, you know, you wanted out of a place of necessity or need or fear or insecurity because you forgot who the fuck you were. You forgot your fucking power. You forgot how much of a badass that you are and how powerful you are. Like those things could be really revealing themselves right now. And you could be questioning, do I still really want this? Do I still really desire this? So this can really be a dramatic change of heart that's coming up here, a dramatic change that's happening, a dramatic shift or a dramatic realignment that's happening in your life to really get you to see the truth of what you truly desire, of what you truly want, right? And this can be shocking to some. This can be a little bit, feel a little bit unstable to some because this new moon that's happening is squaring the planet of Uranus, right? So what does this mean? Uranus shakes things up. Uranus, Uranus is a game changer. Uranus can feel unstable, shaky, turbulent. It can bring in surprises. It can bring in, you know, this, this sense of shock or this sense of dramatic shift in our lives. It can be like a lightning bolt just kind of hits us, right? So this Leo new moon is squaring Uranus, like, basically exactly, which means that whatever new beginning is coming in right now, whatever revelations are coming in right now for you in your life that is starting this new chapter is going to have a very dramatic, unstable or turbulent effect to it. Okay. It could cause some surprising or shocking or, you know, like <laughs> kind of curveballs uh, that you weren't expecting, you know, it, it could cause some things coming in, some surprising things coming in that we weren't expecting, right? And this could be by us because we are initiating something or it could be outside of us, right? Where something happens outside of us. But what this energy is, is it's trying to light a fire under you again. It's trying to light that fire within you. It's trying to light your soul up to help you remember who you are and what you really desire. And if you are in alignment with that path, if you are in alignment with that purpose, if you are in alignment with your purpose, pride, with your integrity, with your honesty, with your sense of confidence, with your sense of self, or if you've just been kind of, you know, in the passenger seat instead of in the driver's seat, if you've been on the sidelines of your life and not really fulfilling the desires and the, the, the sense of, you know, purpose in your life, if you've not been living up to your potential in some of the areas of your life or in all areas of your life. So this is a reflection right now on what our hearts truly desire, on what like who we are, what's our sense of self? If we are in alignment with that, if we are in alignment with the things that we love, if we are in alignment with the child within us, but also the power within us, the, the regal authority and leader within us, right? If we are taking a stand, if we are leading ourselves, if we are being confident, if we are tapped into our power, or are we the victim? Are we blaming everybody else? Are we blaming life? Are we waiting on the sidelines? Are we just thinking like, oh, something's gonna happen and come in and save the day? No one is coming to save you. This is a time where you have to save yourself. You have to be the one. You have to be the one. You have to be the hero right now. You have to be the hero. You have to be the god or the goddess. You have to be the one in power in the driver's seat right now. That is what this is all about, right? We're also reflecting on, you know, ways where or different situations where we've been seeking validation or seeking attention or thinking that we needed attention or validation to actually be in our power or to feel good about ourselves or to feel better about ourselves or to feel confident. And that is not true at all, right? This is about realigning with your belief in yourself, your confidence, your self-esteem, you know, giving that attention to yourself and to that inner child within you that craves it right? This is about realigning with the things that make you passionate, with the things that bring you a sense of play, with the things that bring you a sense of pleasure and joy and happiness in your life. And if you're not feeling those things, you need to take a serious inventory right now because this is the time. This is the time. Like, why am I not happy in my life? It's that simple. What am I doing that is not making me happy? And how can I start taking some actions, you know, taking some steps, to either not doing those things anymore or, you know, weaning out some of the things that are not in alignment with me anymore and adding the things that do feel in alignment with me, that do make me feel good, that do light me up, that do spark this sense of joy and passion and purpose in my life, right? Like this is what this is all about. How can you be you while also being in the world? 
How can you see the sense of what makes you special, the, the talents that you have, the things that make you unique, the things that make you different and beautiful and, you know, special and, you know, a leader, right? How can you see the things that make you sovereign while also being a part of the world? That is what this time is all about, right? It's like if we've been desiring something out of need, which really isn't desire, it's, you know, need and desperation, like need and desire are two very different things. If we've been like clinging to things in our lives out of the sense of need or the sense of desperation or fear, those things could be getting ripped away right now. Those things could be ending or those things could not be doing too great, too hot, right? Because it's not aligned with our heart's truth. It's not aligned with our heart's desires. It's not aligned with our soul. It's not in alignment with what we truly desire. If you've been playing too small, if you've been settling, these are things that could have been coming up these last few weeks. So this new moon in Leo is your chance at a new chapter to doing things differently, right? To, to get in, in alignment with yourself and making decisions from there, to setting intentions, to being aligned with yourself. And that may mean breaking things off, making some shocking, unexpected moves that other people didn't see coming. That may mean, you know, changing the game a little bit right? <laughs> that may mean some game changer, big, bold moves with this new moon squaring Uranus. It's bringing in this sense of eccentricity, this sense of rebellion, this sense of, you know, curveball, surprising, shocking twist. And again, it could be because we are declaring it, we are claiming something, we are claiming who we really are. And that may piss some people off, or that may mean we have to, you know, end something, or that may mean we have to change. We have to change something in some way with this new moon. This new moon is asking us and putting some tension on us like, okay, start this new chapter, but this needs to change if you're going to start this new chapter. And that may bring in some turbulence. That may bring in some things that, you know, are unexpected, right? That may bring in some things that you were not expecting in some way or that other people weren't expecting in some way. And this, this time is also very much about worthiness, right? Like really seeing our value, seeing our worth seeing what we're capable of. Like you've been worthy this whole time. Nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed if you think you are unworthy is the fact that you put a limit or a boundary on what you thought made you worthy and what didn't. <laughs> that's the only thing that's changed is your perception on it. But you are still worthy and you've been worthy this whole time. You have always been worthy. You were born with all the potential in the world and nothing has changed. You still have all of that fucking potential right? And this time is realigning us with that. It's realigning us with the gold within. It is realigning us with the value, the potential, everything, the purpose, the soul, the heart within. It is realigning us with the things that light us up, that make us special, that give us a sense of meaning and purpose in life. It is, it is realigning us with all of that. It's a realignment, which could mean that we could really see a dramatic change of heart coming in. Like, you know, like I said, something that you thought you wanted or needed, but really you didn't. It was out of this place of feeling like, oh, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm scared, you know, I only want this because I'm scared I'm going to lose it. Or um, I only want this because I'm scared of this or because I feel insecure about this, which isn't really true desire, right? It's hard to desire something when you're in a place of need and desperation. So we have to like fix that place of like need and desperation to be able to feel safe enough to like desire the next thing or go to the next thing or, or have this bigger vision for our lives. And so this is what this time frame is really, really about right now. So we may see a lot of really shocking changes coming up with this new moon swearing Uranus, like exactly. So we're going to have to change if we want to claim and step into this new beginning, this new chapter and be all of who we are and shine for who we are. Have this bigger, greater sense of purpose and pride within ourselves and within our lives to actually be proud of ourselves. You know, if we're doing things in our lives that are cutting away at our belief in ourselves, that are cutting away at, you know, how we feel about ourselves and making us feel icky about ourselves, we need to address those things. So we can step into a place where we actually feel proud of ourselves to where we actually begin to trust ourselves again. And that is so, so much what this new moon is about. And while we have this new moon, Mars is 
trining Uranus and Mercury is beginning to trine Uranus, which means we have the energy, we have the action to like make huge changes, to make really big, bold moves, powerful, bold moves, right? To align with our power, align with our inner sense of self and break away, you know, break, break things apart that are not working. But it's putting some tension on us to do that, right? It may be uncomfortable. It may feel turbulent. It may feel a little all over the place or dicey or like, you know, unpredictable or like a, a sense of uncertainty or like, you know, this, this sense of, you know, instability. But if we truly desire it, we will make those changes. If we truly want to claim who we are, our power, all of it, we will make those changes. We will make it happen, right? That is what this time is all about. And it's also very much about trust. It's also very much about surrender and trust and trusting in something bigger than ourselves and, and leaving things that we cannot control up to a higher power, <clears throat> the universe, whatever, right? Because Mars is beginning to come in its opposition to Neptune, you know, in the following days of this new moon. This is very much about focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we can't, surrendering what we can't, right? So that is what this new moon is about let me know down below if this landed with you if this related with you if you feel like you can see a lot of these things coming up and happening in your life if you are feeling this energy if this was helpful at all let me know down below also comment the word badass as always i appreciate you uh, for staying and watching the full beginning you deserve credit so comment badass down below let me know what rising sign you are as well and with that being said we are going to go ahead and get to what this new moon is bringing for your risings. Alrighty, my lovely Leo risings, this new moon for us is a chance, a new chapter, a new beginning for us to really claim all that we are, all that we are, who we are, right? It's really a chance to claim a new beginning for ourselves, to step into a new, new us, a new chapter of who we are, a new chapter of identity, right? This is a time where we are really releasing everything that we thought we should be or all the things that we thought we should be doing to, to fit in or whatever. This is a, a time of really releasing a lot of the things that, you know, we have felt made us unworthy or made us insecure or had us seeking attention or validation, right? If you didn't watch the beginning, definitely go do. You're going to relate to all of it. Uh, it's really powerful, so don't miss it. But this new moon is basically a new chapter, a new beginning, all about us bringing in this new sense of vitality, this new sense of energy, this new sense of purpose and potential within who we are. It's a chance to really see where we've gotten out of alignment with who we really are, with our identity, with our self, right? With who we're being in the world. And this could mean making some really dramatic changes in terms of where we saw ourselves going or our future or our career or our long-term goals. You know, this could mean that we need to make some dramatic changes in terms of stepping in and claiming our seat at the table instead of, you know, sitting on the sidelines or being in the passenger seat. Like this is a time of stepping into the driver's seat and that may cause some tension or some big changes that need to be made or that end up happening in terms of our career, our long-term goals and our reputation um, in terms of the world and who we are in the world, what we want in the world, what we desire in the world, the path that we're going down. This could be a change of heart or a realignment to who you are and who you want to be in your long-term goals. And that can mean making some really dramatic changes in your life, Leo, um, making some really big, bold moves in your life. You know, um, This could also be a, a time where we are really changing things up and stepping into our power financially and with our career, where we are really getting our shit organized in terms of financially, career, work, and our long-term goals and, and how we are going about obtaining those, right? So this is what is coming. If you're a Leo rising, let me know down below if you are. And if this resonated, let me know what's going on in your life right now. If you are a fellow Leo rising like me, I would really, really love to hear your feedback. Thank you for watching Leo. And I will see you guys in the next one. For Virgo rising, um, this new moon is happening in your 12th house. And this is going to be a time where you are you know, really stepping into some kind of new chapter, new beginning in terms of maybe healing, letting things go, doing something behind the scenes, rest, recovery. You know, this is really a time where you're getting back to uh, a sense of who you are subconsciously and in private. And when you're kind of removed from other situations while also really, you know, maybe changing up 
you know, your sense of belief, your sense of philosophy on life, your sense of views on life, like your views and your outlooks and your beliefs, you know? And so this could be really putting a lot of tension on you where you are really having to change some things in terms of how you're viewing life, how you're viewing the world, um, you know, what you feel your sense of purpose and meaning is in life, uh, what you feel your potential is in life and uh, how these subconscious, certain subconscious things um, that maybe you've been repressing uh, can actually help you with that or how certain subconscious things are maybe distracting you from that or that you need to re like heal or recover from or integrate in some way. So these are the things that you could really, really see uh, coming up if you are a Virgo rising. And so yeah, let me know down below Virgo if that resonated. I'd really love to hear your feedback and hear what's going on with you guys for this Leo energy and how this Venus retrograde has been for you. So please let me know down below. Okay, so moving on to Libra Risings. So if you're a Libra Rising, this new moon is starting a really big, bold, new, like <laughs> kind of eccentric and uh, crazy new chapter in terms of your friend groups, your connections, your acquaintances, your social life, you know, the people that you are connecting with and connecting to, your friends and uh, your audience potentially as well if you have one of those or clients in the world or your network in some way. So this could definitely be a time for Leo, Libra rising where you are stepping into a new chapter here, but it is bringing a lot of dramatic change or shifts or a lot of energy coming in in terms of your financial life too, your business, your financial connections, you know, and so it's like, okay, like if you want to connect you know, if you want to have this new start and claim this new beginning, this new chapter in terms of your social life and who you're connecting with and who you're networking with, it's like putting a lot of pressure for you to make some big changes um, in terms of your financial ties as well. Uh, your ties with finances, your ties with other people, your business, you know, any, any kind of ingoing and outgoing financial uh, or resource situations that you have with other people. And so this could be a new beginning that brings in some maybe curveballs or shocks or turbulence um, in that financial space for you, um, of you really needing to like own your power and claim your truth and claim your heart and claim what you really want um, and getting back to that and getting realigned with that. So let me know how that works out for you. If you're a Libra rising down below, I'd really love to hear your feedback and how this ends up playing out for you. Make sure to comment down below and let me know. And with that being said, we're going to move on to Scorpio Risings. So for Scorpio Risings, this new moon in Leo is a big, bold, surprising, turbulent new chapter starting in your career, um, in your long-term goals, in your reputation, in your future, and where you see yourself in the future. So this is a, a really uh, crazy new beginning coming in where it's like, for you to really step into your power and authority in the world, some dramatic shifts and changes may need to be made. Um, and, you know, this could also mean, you know, some changes happen in terms of relationships or friendships, commitments, you know, different ties that you have with close relationships and commitments in your life. It could mean changing some things here. It could mean breaking off some things here. Um, it's like, you're being realigned to your long-term purpose, your long-term goals, your path in life. And that may mean some changes need to happen in terms of relationships, commitments, you know, contracts with other people, things like that. So that's really what's coming in for you. If you're Scorpio rising, let me know down below. This ends up relating as a Scorpio rising. I'd love to hear your feedback. And uh, we are going to move on to Sag. So for Sagittarius risings, this new moon in Leo is happening in your ninth house of higher learning, travel, educational pursuits, finding that sense of meaning and purpose in your life and in your world. And so this is really stepping into your power here and claiming that and, and a new chapter, really finding like your truth and your pride in this area of life. But it could also be bringing some tension, shakeups, you know, surprises, uncertainty in terms of your job, your health, your day-to-day -day routines and your day-to-day -day work that you do, your job basically. So this could be a time where it's like, okay, like, Maybe you are starting this new chapter with like a new, you know, a new study that you have or something new that you want to learn, but that's also bringing in some uncertainty with your current job, you know, like maybe you want to go back to school, but how are you going to do this? How are you going to make this big, bold move with the job that you have now? And it could cause some inconsistency or some shakeups in some way. Um, you'll figure it out though. It's going to be fine, but it's just a new beginning. That's like, okay, if I want to claim this, it's going to mean that there's going to be some fallout. It's going to mean that there's going to be some uncertainty in other areas, 
but it's still going to work itself out eventually. So um, that is what I see with you, Sag Rising. Let me know down below if that resonates, what you do see coming up. Um, I'd really love to see how this is affecting you as a Sag Rising. So let me know down below. And we're gonna move on to Capricorn Rising. So for Capricorn Risings, this new moon is happening in your eighth house sector of business, wealth, finances, investments, financial ties with other people um, or ties with resources with other people. And so this is a time of really, that you've been really learning how to step into like what you actually want, desire and value and your sense of authority and le leadership and power in this area of life, dealing with business, wealth, finances and investments. And so this is a new moon starting a really big, bold, interesting and kind of surprising new chapter in this area. It could also be bringing in though some uncertainty or some inconsistency or uh, some you know surprising new developments or curveballs in terms of what you love, your desires, you know, like what what's actually going on in terms of what you want for your heart or where you're having fun or where you're finding a sense of pleasure and enjoyment and fulfillment in your life right now. And so what this kind of looks like to me is there could be some kind of new chapter starting here financially for you that's, you know, maybe not what you necessarily saw coming, you know, in terms of something that you love or something that you're finding joy in. This could also deal with dating, love, sexuality, or children as well. You could see those things coming up too. Let me know how this is going down below, Capricorn Rising. I think that this could also be like a passion project you've been working on or, you know, doing something that you love lately, but maybe there's some kind of financial shakeup that happens or some financial uncertainty with this new beginning coming in or something outside of you that happens that causes you to kind of question things or feel a little bit uncertain or unstable in what you've been doing that you love. So yeah, let me know how that's playing out for you if you're a Capricorn rising down below. I'd love to see uh, how this is affecting you guys. And we are gonna move on to Aquarius rising. So Aquarius rising, this uh, new moon for you is in your seventh house of relationships, baby. So you've been getting a lot of lessons and a lot of different things coming up in terms of relationships and your connections, commitments, and relationships with close people in your life lately. Um, you've been really seeing a lot of things about temptation, what you really desire, what you like, what you're attracted to, what you're not, you know, like all these different things, how to find who you are in the midst of all of this as well with other people, like how to see yourself and some of these other people and their qualities that you may admire, you know, how to step into your sense of authority and power and, um, you know, the sense of what makes you special in terms of these connections and in terms of these relationships. So this new beginning, this new chapter here is a massive new beginning starting for you in your relationship sector, right? Like where you are starting something new or there's just this new fresh energy that really starts coming in um, that's really revealing for you for relationships, but it could be causing some uncertainty or maybe some change that needs to happen in your personal life or with your home and family life in some way um, or your private life in some way. Like it could be bringing in, um, you know, this new beginning could be somehow triggering something in your home and family life or something in your home and family life could be triggering this new beginning with, um, you know, your relationships in some way. So let me know how this is working out for you if you're an Aquarius rising down below. I really, really want to see how this is playing out for you guys. Hear your feedback, hear what's coming up for you guys. I'm really interested. So let me know down below. And with that being said, we're going to move on to Pisces. So for Pisces Risings, this new moon in your sixth house is starting a new chapter in terms of what you're working on on a day-to-day -day basis, your health, your work, your job, your routines, and uh, really kind of getting you back into a sense of what you love, your sense of inner authority, your sense of, you know, leadership, your sense of purpose, passion, and potential in this area of life, in the area of your work, your job, your health. Um, but it could, this new beginning could be kind of causing uh, some uncertainty in terms of your day-to-day -day life or your surroundings or your environment or your location or short travels or trips or um, your communications or the people, places, and things that you kind of frequent on a day-to-day -day basis. And so, yeah, this could be something kind of coming in that's causing some turbulence or, you know, just kind of like a surprising new beginning or a new big, bold move that is going to put some kind of, uh, that's going to require some kind of change maybe in your environment, your surroundings, et cetera. So let me know how that's going down below, Pisces. Let me know if this resonates. Let me know what you do notice coming up around this new moon. I'd really, really, really appreciate and love to hear your feedback genuinely. So really let me know down below. And we are gonna move on to Aries. So for Aries Risings, this new moon is happening in your fifth house of play, pleasure, finding your heart, finding your sense of joy, passion, 
and uh, what you love in the world, right? So this is definitely a new moon that is bringing in a new chapter, a new beginning here, where maybe you're starting uh, a new project or you're getting back to an old project that you love or you're getting back to things that you used to love that you got away from. And this new beginning is signifying this new chapter starting here where you're really getting into like your heart's desires, you're getting into the things that feel good, <clears throat> that bring you a sense of fun, that bring you a sense of joy. And it's like a massive new new chapter starting here for you, but it could be bringing in some changes, uncertainty or unpredictability going on with your finances, your resources, your income, you know, your possessions, what you own, um, you know, your priorities and things like that. So that's kind of what this new be new beginning, this new moon could be really triggering for you um, in your life with this. So definitely kind of pay attention to how these two areas of life are kind of interacting with this new moon. Um, but yeah, let me know down below, Aries, if that resonated and what you are noticing come up for this new moon. I'd really, really, really love to hear your feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we're going to move on to Taurus Risings. So for Taurus Risings, this new moon is happening in your fourth house of your private life, your private sector, your home, family, and personal life, the things that, you know, go on behind the scenes, the things that go on in your, your personal life, your foundation of life, your roots, right? So this new moon could definitely be bringing in a new chapter here, a new beginning here to do with those areas of life, but it is squaring Uranus in your first. So this could also be, this new moon could also be some kind of dramatic change of heart going on in terms of your home, family, and private life. Um, in terms of who you are, you could be kind of rebelling against something to do with your personal life, or you could kind of feel very uncertain or, um, you know, like there's a lot of things that are unexpected going on. Um, but it is kind of push, putting some pressure on you uh, to make some changes, you know, to really step in and claim this new beginning in your home, family, and personal life. And so these are some things that you could find coming up with this new moon. So let me know down below, Taurus, if that resonated. I really love to hear your feedback and what you are noticing for this new moon. If you would like some extra, you know, stuff about this, make sure you go watch my August horoscopes because um, I went way more in depth in there. So moving on to Gemini Risings. So for Gemini Risings, this new moon is happening in your third house. So this could be a new chapter, a new beginning uh, in terms of your environment, in terms of your surroundings, in terms of the people, places, and things that you know you're, you frequent, that you're around on a day-to-day -day basis, um, that you're involved with in terms of community, in terms of you know projects, creative projects, communication, speaking, um, you know events going on around you, different things that you're partaking in going on around you or near you during this time. So this could be a big new chapter starting here like kind of following your heart in these areas of life or doing more of what you love in these areas of life um, but it could be bringing some uncertainty subconsciously or it could be bringing some turbulence subconsciously with the square to Uranus in your 12th or there could be some unforeseen or unexpected things that happen with this new moon and this new beginning as well so let me know down below Gemini what you do notice coming up for this new moon I'd really love to hear your feedback and how you see this playing out for you um, I really genuinely would and if you would like more definitely make sure to go check out the August horoscopes because I went way more in depth on this month so if you would like to learn a lot more about what's going on for you this month go check that out so cancer risings this new moon for you is happening in your second house of money income finances your resources your possessions the things that you own so this is a new chapter a new beginning that's really coming in with this that's really bringing your focus to this area of life what do you own what do you possess what's of value to you um your money your income you know and uh how you want to step more into a sense of power and authority in this area of life and step into more of a sense of feeling um, maybe more regal, maybe more prideful of yourself in this area of life. But um, this new moon could be also, you know, bringing in some unexpected, uncertain kind of energy in terms of your connections, friends, network, and social life. So uh, there could be something going on in terms of you know, it bringing in something kind of surprising, not expected, or uh, like a curveball kind of energy in terms of your network, other people, acquaintances, your social life in some way. Um, so you do kind of want to be on the lookout for that, right? Like, so this new, it's basically a new chapter financially, but it's triggering something in terms of socially that could be kind of unexpected or that may need to change. This could be a dramatic change happening as well. So uh, let me know down below how you do notice it, Cancer. I'm really, um, I really want to know. I really want to know how you're uh, gonna, how this is playing out for you in your life. So definitely let me know down below. Thank you guys so so much for watching. That is the end of this video. I love you, and I will see you in the next one.